Wednesday nil, Sunderland three. There's a turn up for books. I've been badly this week. So I've not been tonight. <coughs> and if you were one of the 25,000, nearly 26,000 who did it, and well done to you. Because to be quite honest with you, when a game we knew we weren't going to win before kickoff, it's Friday night, it's on box, and 25,000 people have turned up to watch that. That's what I call great support. You need to support your club. 25,000 on a Friday, a cold Friday night, watching a game you know you're not going to win. I said I weren't going to talk about that bit. This morning, I'll do a different video about that because that is, that's one on its own. I don't want it to interfere with this. But that's not my duck off. <coughs> After excuse me, I've not been right well this week. And, and have you tried getting into doctors in this town? Tried to get a GP's appointment? Good luck with that. Gordon Benny. Anyway, Wednesday tech on Sunderland. Cisco still looking for his first win. Wednesday still looking for the first win. Anyway, here's team news. Wednesday. Oh, God. Vasquez in goal. Back three, Bernard, Diaby and Fameo. Valentin, Hendrik, Byers and Patterson across midfield. Masaba and Buckley in the attacking midfield roles and Gregory isolated on his own top again. Sunderland 4-1-4-1, Patterson in goal, back four, Hume, O'Neill, Ballard and Huggins. Neil in that defensive midfield slot, not that they needed it. Roberts, Bellingham, Pritchard and Clark as the attacking four and what an attacking four it was and Burstow at centre forward. So he's a long striker, but uh, he's getting support. There's a difference. Fuck me. So, no Barry Bannon. That's a massive blow before kickoff. He's one of the players this season who's actually looked like he's going to do anything and he's capable of doing anything. So, he were missing. That's a huge loss. Hendrick and Byers in midfield. Nice to see George Byers back. Good player, good footballer. Not particularly helps in this system. Neither, I don't think, is Jeff Hendrick, who's not set the world on fire, but nevertheless. Sunderland, young team. Tony Mowbray, experienced English coach. Knows this league, knows these, these divisions. Knows how to get the best out of a young squad. Clearly, he's able to get his message across. the game Wednesday actually and I said this most matches will go out for about 10 minutes and you think oh hang fair hang fair maybe something here Buckley has a shot on about 20 minutes you know a few ironic cheers go up but you think you know, do you know what this isn't too bad it isn't too bad Gregory's mainly isolated but ain't too bad Patterson's, it's Patterson's turn to have a go on the left hand side. What has Rhys James done? I mean, is he, is he shutting Cisco's snap box or something? Sunderland go goal up after five minutes. It's a bit of a corner routine, sort of breaks down. Pritchard pops ball back in, and uh, Ballard. Bob Ballard went here, Radio Sheffield, some years back. Anyway, Ballard nods it in from close range, unattended, 1 0 down. And uh, to be quite honest, you knew that with that. You knew that with that. Five minutes in, you knew it's game over. Three minutes later, 2-0. Um, I did a match preview actually and I said there's one player we've got to watch. Got to watch that Jack Clark, especially coming inside on his right foot. Um, bit old fashioned and obviously I didn't play to any great level but I do remember when I had to play at full back and they always said, you know, show him on outside. 
but that's hard at windy. Jinx inside, beats one, jumps shoulder, beats another, rasps one in past uh, Vasquez's left hand. Two and out down. Already one or two people leaving ground. Grounds echoing about. <clears throat> Dead all over is like a cheap soup, to be honest with you. Bellingham. Bellingham wins a penalty. Cross into the box. I mean, God, lad's got half an hour to pick his cross out. He has about eight touches before he puts it in. Bellingham. To be fair, it's a lovely turn. It's one of them little Zidane, sort of half grief Zidane turns, isn't it? Diaby's so far up his ass he gets spun too easily. I mean, that's, we used to say touch tight, didn't we? Just, so if he turns, he turns into you. But now he's right up his ass, gets spun, pulls him down. Clark steps up. Vasquez gets sent wrong way for a penalty twice in a week. Um, and at World Cup, they always, they've always got it written up water bottles, haven't they? Which way penalties are going? Not like that. Just as a guess, because wrong way. 3 0 down, droves of fans leaving ground. Game over. Absolutely game over. But then we knew we, knew we weren't going to win anyway, so you know what I mean? Like I said, 25,000 troop down there tonight, knowing. I mean, Wednesday had having bits of ball. Two minutes here and there, but it's like a hot potato, nobody wants it. Nobody's particularly trying out. Well, we are. We're trying this crossfield pass that they don't come off. First to the second touch is a tackle. Uh, and then you look at them, young, like, full of confidence. I said it in preview. But players like that, Clark, they, they're enjoying themselves. They're playing like kids in schoolyard, playing against their mates, just in gyms. I'm going to try this, I'm going to try that. I'm going to try nutmeg. Us, we're watching ball all the way in. With iron first touch and it's nerves and it's pressure and it, it, it's showing. It's showing. For me, I made a good block just after half time because yeah, that, that would have definitely been followed up by flying it bottom corner. Um, we have probably one attack. Valentin. Knocks the ball over, gets down the right side, does really good burst actually, knocks the ball past man, puts a cross in, Patterson takes it on the chest and volley, and their keeper makes a good save, but I'll tell you what I notice, for all their attacking Sunderland, Wednesday's actually a two month break for once there, good ball in, cracking shot from Patterson, keeper saves it, but even if he hadn't saved it, two of their lads had absolutely bust their bollocks to get back, they were two on line, watch it back. Keeper makes a save, but even if he had this two of them, killed him sense to get back online. <laughs> Bellingham had another shot just wide. We were, we were getting over a run in there. We got Byers in there with Hendrick, and uh, they got Neil, Pritchard, and Bellingham. Little three working triangles. We'd got two in there chasing about. Felt a bit sorry for them, but they looked as lethargic as anybody else. Um, they dropped down to second gear, Sunderland. I mean, I suspect they could have gone on to get four or five if they'd really, really gone for it, but they're away from home. They've got a clean sheet, and uh, why would you kill this in for it? You know, they, they start, they're going to cruise in then. One positive run from Masaba um, probably gets 50, 60 yards up pitch, which sort of gets everybody going a bit. But you need to see more of that. You've got to have players in team who can get you up pitch by running with ball, with travelling with ball. I don't know how we're setting up. I don't know how we're setting up. I don't know what. I don't know what we're trying to. I don't know what we're trying to do. Outrun. Out thought, out muscled, out thought. Just there's a lethargy to play. 
there's a fear to play. But then there's going to be a fear. I mean, you're playing one up top. Five up back. But if, if you're setting up like that and then you go a goal down, what are you going to do? You know, it's it's like nearly 70 minutes before we make a change. 3-0 down, one up front, at home. They've had 60-odd possession at ball, Sunderland. And we'll just carry on, one up front. 3-0 down. I've got... Man, it matches hard, isn't it? Because we've we've got spanked again. My man of the match, I'll give it Callum Patterson. And I know, and I take a lot of stick on this channel because I, I do like Patterson. But the reason why I like him is because he's always giving it a goal. He will always challenge for headers. He will always get a block in. He will always try and trap back. He will try and pop up in their box. And this season was never going to be easy. It was never going to be easy. If Darren Moore had stayed and got them young players in that were on his shopping list, it still wouldn't have been easy. There were still going to be times when we were outplayed by teams like Sunderland, like Southampton, whatever. Never going to be easy. But we're making it harder for this. And, and you know what? And the reason I've given Callum Patterson my man of the match is because I want 11 like him on Park. I want 11 there who are going to bust the bollocks. Because when it's not easy, when you are being outplayed by teams that are better than you, you've got to make it into a fucking scrap. You've got to make it into a scrap. Why not? Passive. A little stick in a tower. Fucking get stuck in. But then... Are they following the instruction? Get it down. Knock it about it back. Nice and steady. Draw me. But we draw them in and they score. You've got, you've got to make it a scrap when you're playing a team that's better than you. And it's not attractive. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be attractive. All we need is to win games of football. I don't care. Now. I'm getting to stage now. I won't care if we were playing like bloody joking here's Wimbledon. Anyway, we're still searching for that first win. Still bottom at table. Can't score goals. Can't defend. Passive performances. I don't see where it's coming from. I don't see where next win's coming from. And I've not, I've, I'm genuinely, I've not got a problem with playing three centre halves. Play three centre halves. We played three centre halves last year. You know what difference we're? We've got people in wide positions who were putting delivery into the box. And we were giving our strikers a chance. Now, I'm not saying Lee Gregory or Michael Smith or Fletcher or anybody's going to get 20 goals. We know they're not. But give them a chance. Give them some support up there. They're chasing shadows. They're, just, they're feeding on scraps. Ireland won't score goals in this side. The way we're setting up. I don't know what his goals plan is. I don't know what his plan is. I can't work out what his plan is. There's no tempo. There's no rhythm to it. Like I said, we're not making it into a scrap. That's the very basic that. If you're getting dominated and outplayed, make it into a scrap. Make it uncomfortable. They got a load of young lads out there today, 20, 21. Make it a scrap. No, passive. Tap, tap. I mean, fair play to him. He answers all questions. He does it himself. He doesn't hide behind an interpreter. But I tell you what, maybe he should. No, I don't want to come across as xenophobic and all like that, but it ain't because it ain't that. But clearly, some of the things he's saying in press conference, I don't, know what he's on, I don't know what he's on about. And I do wonder if players know what he's on about. Apparently, he gave a very good interview. But if you've got a bloke speaking in broken English from Spanish to a bloke who's listening to answers broken English into Thai, maybe, maybe that goes somewhere to explain it. Because I can't see it. I cannot see 
I cannot see it. And I don't want anybody to lose a job. I don't. I've been laid off in the past and it's absolutely bloody horrible. But it can't go on like this. Where's next wind coming from? We've got West Brom, we've got Huddersfield. Might we get a point from Rotherham before Christmas? That we're talking like this. Anyway, that's me done because I don't want to. I don't want to talk about it. Look at the table. It speaks for itself. And so there we are, bottom of the table, two points. Four points from safety. Having played an extra game than all teams above us who we'll play tomorrow. Minus 12 goal difference. Oh, God. And next we face a tricky trip to uh, the Hawthorns, play West Brom, whose home record is played for 1 2, drawn 1, and lost 1, with positive goal difference. And then we've got Huddersfield Town. Do you know what? I thought I'll ease the pain. I'll ease the pain. I've not been well. I've watched that shite. I'll ease the pain. I'll have me some a nice biscuit with me, bro. Look, look at that. That's, that's what we've got. Knock off chocolate bar, but never been a biscuit. Obnob, custard cream, digestive, proper biscuits. Now, 